I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on transformation. Now we look into dilation with center not at origin. Most of the videos and in the textbooks also, most of the examples deal with dilation where it is always based on the center, right? But here is a variation to this particular question. It is extremely important question from any good test point of view. The triangle ABC with points A21, B52, C23 have been dilated by a factor of 2 centered at P which is 1, 0, not origin. Find the coordinates of this image after dilation. Four options are given to you. You can pause the video, answer the question and then look into your suggestions. Now, how to solve such a question? Well, you must have watched my video on rotation about a point which is not the origin. Similarly, here we'll follow a similar rule. So what we are given here, let me try to sketch the scenario and then explain you. So what we are given basically is, let's say, uh, point 2, 1, let me sketch it, right, these points, and then we'll try to understand. So let's say that is your, okay, let me just plot few points, okay, and then we'll work on it. I'm not going to get points from this rough graph, but I'm going to explain you the concept uh, from this particular graph. So if I plot the points A, B, and C on this particular graph, which I just created, A is 2, 1. So that is say A is this point. B is 5, 2. So 2, 3, 4, 5, and then 2. And C is at 2, 3. So 2, 1, 2, 3. So that makes, that gives you a triangle kind of a thing. Okay. Now we are looking for a dilation by a factor of 2 centered at P which is 1, 0, which is actually here, not at the origin. Perfect. So if you draw these lines, you could actually on a graph paper get your solution, right? You could get your solution. Now how do you do without kind of graphing, right? So, and accurately get the result. Well, the idea here is that since we know that dilation by a factor of 2, we should be multiplying all these coordinates by 2. However, the center is not the origin. So what we can do here is we can think about creating a new coordinate plane with center at the given point. You get the idea. So if you do that, then the points get changed. So in our case, the y value is not changing, only the x value is decreasing by 1. So we have a modified point here. And then we can use the concept learn for finding the scale factor 2 giving us the image points, correct? So that is the concept. So what we will do here is we'll write down our original points, which is A, which is 2, 1, B, which is 5, 2, and C. 2, 3. Now since the point is not origin, but the point P is given to us as 1, 0, and it is on the right side, each x value will be decreased by 1, right? So that is the change. But there is no change in the y value since it is 0, right? So that remains same. So what we are going to do now is find our change coordinate. So let's call this as A dash. So each value actually x value decreases by 1. So instead of 2, 2 minus 1 is 1 and the y value remains same, right? So that is the first transformation which takes place for new coordinate system, right? You get an idea, right? So we're just decreasing the x values by 1. So these are the points which we have got by decreasing x by 1. Reason being, we have made a new coordinate system. Right? 
right? So that is our x dash, y dash. On this plane, those are going to be the modified coordinates, correct? Now, for these coordinates, we have a factor k of 2, right? So now it is dilated by a factor of 2. So each point will get multiplied. So we'll call this as a double dash, multiplying both by 2. So we get 2, 0 here. And for b, we get 8 and 2, 4. And for c, we get 2 and 6. And now what we need to do is report these numbers with our original scale, right? So we'll go back to the original system, right? So original system means we are actually directed minus 1. Now we'll add 1 and 0 to our new points, correct? So when you add 1 and 0 to your new points, what do you get? You get 2 plus 1 as 3, y value is same. And then you're adding 1 to 8, you get 9 and 4. 1 to 2, you get 3 and 6. And that is your actual image. And that matches with option B for you. Does it make sense to you? That is a key. So what we did was that we started with our original frame and then we shifted it by one unit mainly because that was our point P. So we coincided the point P with the origin of a new coordinate system adjusted all the points and that was a transformation right because of shift in coordinate system and this is moving one step to the right so we decreased each x value by one and got new points now point p becomes our origin and so we can use a scale factor of two to get our image points once we get the image points, we have to report them to our original system, not the modified one. So we added one, did the reverse of what we did earlier, and got our result. Is that clear to you? So that is how you can actually find the image points for any geometrical figure after dilation when the center is not the origin. I hope that makes sense. Feel free to write your comment, share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.